Well, Bobby, you said these late goals evened themselves out, and they did, in a better fashion. Yeah, I got that one right on Saturday, didn't I? Because um, I'm going to be brutally honest, my boys didn't uh, play well today. Uh, we didn't really keep the ball well enough today. <clears throat> you could tell we were tired because we did do a lot of running on, on Saturday. But the one thing that I'm trying to install in this group is uh, while you've got six minutes injury time, uh, well, extra time, you know, they, they brought up, you've got to keep believing. And I said on the bench, we'll score today because I do believe it evens itself out. And to not play particularly well today, but to show the other side of that grit, termination and that passion for my boys, I think that's why that result meant so much. So that's a big credit to um, my boys for digging in um, a brilliant win when we didn't particularly play well. We didn't really keep the ball well. Uh, I thought at times our decision making today looked like we was tired. Um, and yes, I did have to make three or four important changes because of injuries. But that's why you've got to build a good squad and you have to believe um, in, um, in the players. And I left one player out today because he turned up three minutes late. But then I got to spin it. He came on and said, don't ever leave me out again and scored the winner. So fair play to uh, Trey. Uh, I set myself standards here and everyone at this football club and this boy's got a special, spe special talent. He knows where the back of the net is. He's got a massive future in the game uh, and he's still learning his uh, trade here. So really pleased for him to come on and to be disappointed to be left out, but he knows the reasons why. And um, to come on and do that just shows where everyone is together. And he's come on and said to the boys, sorry for being a little bit late and I'm going to score a goal and win us the game and you said the performance wasn't quite what we're used to no. for you was it just that fatigue that lacked throughout the game uh, there was fatigue there was heavy legs but listen we can all make that an excuses we can make it excuses that we had to make three four changes listen we just wasn't at it today uh, we've been at it all season but if you can come away from home and get another clean sheet you know we've got to remember that and we did have four or five clinical chances but we're, we're, you know I've been a little bit critical because I set standards here and I want them to keep believing in themselves um, but if we can do the horrible work as well as the good work uh, really pleasing because we had some great spells of football in there today but then it was just that final pass I just felt that we looked very fatigued today but um, is that what I talked to you about about mental toughness all, all around the club you know I sent everyone a message yesterday about now like let's see how we react because you know we were very disappointed in the 96 minute it felt like a loss on Saturday so you could turn up today and still feel sorry for yourself but I phoned every player yesterday and said you better turn up today and not feel sorry for yourself really tricky conditions as you can see the grass is long no water because they said the sprinklers are broke but listen these are the clubs you have to come to if you want to do well this season game by game uh, everyone deserves credit of the football club for all their hard work um, and I say this in every interview and it's easy to say this but how loud were our fans today <clears throat> and I thought they got louder in the last 10 minutes when we really needed their help because we wasn't really giving them anything to sing today or or encourage today even though they were singing really loud for all of us so you know I'm going to dedicate that uh, win for them today because uh, their support today was very important to us when we didn't play particularly well. Um, and like I said in the start of this interview, I'm really pleased for Trey. Special talent, got lots of, of ability and um, just so pleased for everyone at the football club. And like Trey, it was those subs that make the difference. Does that just show your squad and the actual options you've got coming off the bench? Yeah, listen, when I plan what I plan in the summer, you know what you need for these days when you pick up injuries. Um, you know, we, we made a lot of changes in the summer um, and, you know, we're going to go through a really hard spell this year. You know, today was a hard spell with the injuries, um, but every single player is fighting to be into the squad, fighting to play. So, um, yeah, I'm lucky the subs have worked again today. I, I've been very fortunate that everything we're touching at the moment's working and there'll be a lot of times where we try things and it won't work. You know, I changed the shape to a 3-4-3 to lose Ben Tompkins at half-time, who, you know, has been one of my best players. That was another blow at half-time. But I'm, I'm a firm believer if you're injured, you just come off and we get on with it. Um, my, the, my main priority is their welfare. As soon as he said to me he's struggling and he offered to stay on, by the way, you come off. Um, just like Brandon last Monday, sore knee, you don't play. Believe in your squad, believe in the boys, make them feel that um, they're fantastic players. Let, let them keep smiling. They're enjoying themselves. You've just seen there what they're doing. Um, and we celebrated this one because it, it meant a lot to us, not because we won here, because of what's gone on behind the scenes with all the, you know, 
injuries and things like that. So I'm just so pleased for everyone at the football club. I know I keep repeating myself with that, but it is, it's about everyone being together. It's not about individuals uh, on and off the park. Um, and like I say, I'm really pleased for the chairman. He's seeing a, a team here fight. And you know, when I had my three, four interviews with him, he said, look, all I want is to see a, a team compete and fight. And if we could play some great football with these good players, we're going to at the same time. And uh, that's all we're going to do. One game at a time. Now we've got back to back win, you know, games again, what's going to be really difficult. But I just said to him in there, let's get to training, let's train hard. No time off. Um, we can have time off at the end of the year, but let's keep working together.